Today I'm going to show you how to create a custom report in Klaviyo to help you get a better understanding of the deliverability of your email marketing flows. By deliverability, I mean unsubscribe rates, spam complaint rates, also open rates and click rates, as well as getting a gauge on the total revenue that these flows and specific messages are generating for your business. My name is Gavin. I run an email and SMS marketing agency specializing in helping e-commerce brands with their email and SMS marketing. We have driven about $5.8 million in revenue, so I absolutely know what I'm talking about when it comes to email marketing. So let's get into it. To access the custom reports tab, I'm just going to move my beautiful little face here. You're going to go onto the left-hand side. You're going to click custom reports just here. And you're going to go create, uh, sorry, reports library, reports library up here. And you're going to create an email deliverability by flow report. This one right here, email deliverability by flow. You're going to click this, you're going to hit create report. Now, call it whatever you want. Right here, report name, I'm going to call this IB flow report IB inbox is the name of my company and we're going to go yep email recipients open rate email unsubscribe rate email bounce rate email spam complaint rates you can also include click rate as well email click rate we're going to include that in there because we want to get a gauge on the email click rate and we're going to group by flow message right so it's going to take every single flow message or in this case email or sms message and put it into this report. Then we're also gonna add a conversion metric. I like to include the placed order and the total sum of placed orders because I wanna see how much revenue an email is doing relative to the unsubscribe and spam complaint rates that's getting, right? Because if an email is getting zero revenue but high unsubscribe rates, I might just go ahead and completely turn it off. But if the email is getting high unsubscribe rates but high revenue, it means I might have to come up with like a little bit of a different strategy based off of what the report shows me. We're gonna go down to the time frame and we're gonna say all time, okay? All time. And then I'm also gonna click exclude archived flows because I don't want any flows that are no longer relevant to this account. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead in there and then we're gonna click save and run report. And it's gonna give us this report right here. And what's really cool is we can see the flow ID, the flow name, the message, the message name, the channel, whether it's email or whether it's SMS, the status of it, the total recipients, the open rate of those emails, the unsubscribe, the bounce, the spam complaint, and the click rate. Now, this is interesting, right? Like I can, I can see this here, but I actually wanna have a bit more oversight over this board. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click export as a CSV. It's gonna export it as a CSV right here. And I'm gonna go into my sheets, right? I'm gonna go create a spreadsheet. And I'm gonna go blank spreadsheet. I'm assuming you're using Google Sheets because everybody is nowadays. And you're gonna go import, upload, and you're gonna upload that report here. And you're just gonna call uh, replace current sheet, import data. Now, this report here doesn't have a whole lot of information here because it's my personal account. There's not a whole lot of automation set up in my personal inbox email marketing account. But I'm gonna bring you over to another account that actually does have a lot more data that we can look into. This is a spreadsheet that I pulled in from the uh, CSV file that Clavio generated and I've formatted it a little bit differently. As you can see here, I've emboldened the first line and I've frozen the frames so that when I scroll, it scrolls there with me. I've also deleted a few columns that I don't think I really need. So if you look at this old one, I don't really need the flow ID, I don't really need the message ID, I don't really need the channel uh, or the status or the... Um, what else we got here? The tags, we don't need those there. So I've gone ahead and deleted those from the report that I've gone ahead and generated here, right? But in this one here, you can see a lot more interesting data, right? We can see the names of the flows, the message, the total recipients, the open rates, the click rates, the unsubscribe rates, the bounce rates, and the spam complaint rates. Now, when I wanna go and make an audit and I wanna figure out how to improve my deliverability from a flows perspective, this is what I do. I take the report and then I filter or I organize the column Z to A, highest unsubscribe rate to lowest. Now, keep in mind, when you bring the spreadsheet in, they're gonna come in as decimal points. 
you just want to like this data see this here where it goes like open rate 0.75 you, and this was like this notice that this is 1.25 to make sure it's all a percentage all you got to do is like select every single column every single cell rather and just format it just here to format as a percentage here, I'll even I'll zoom in for you format as a percentage there cool so now we have our click rates as a percentage and our unsubscribe rates as a percentage I can really quickly see which flow and which message and email is getting highest unsubscribe rates and causing problems in my account. Now take a look. For example, this win back flow email one, open rates of 46%. I'm like, okay, that's not bad. Click rates of 1.25%, not bad, but unsubscribe rates of almost 4% and then spam complaint rates of 0.27%. That's crazy high. That's a problem, right? And what's even worse is look at the placed order value, nothing. No revenue over all time has been generated from this flow. So this email, or rather this email, not flow, this email is literally doing nothing for this account but causing high unsubscribe rates and bounce rates and spam complaint rates. So I know, based off of this report, that I should go ahead and turn this email off, okay? I should turn this email off. Now let's go to the next highest one. It's also in the winback flow. So this is starting to paint a picture for me, right? I'm realizing that the winback flow is not doing a very good job and I need to figure out ways to fix that. And look, oh, crikey. Um, decent open rates, decent click rates, crazy high unsubscribe rates, crazy high bounce rates, crazy high spam complaint rates, and only $100 in revenue. Is it worth it? Probably not. I'd probably go ahead and turn that off. Now, we go even a bit further down. Ooh, interesting. Unsubscribe rate is very high for the welcome series, but really good click rate, really good open rate, really high bounce rate, which is also interesting, but incredibly high revenue. So how do I fix this in this case? And you see what's happening? Like we're actually able to see in a much higher level holistic view of things where our problems are coming from and where we can improve our metrics for emails that are live. And we can also see draft ones here as well. These reports are super, super useful. Now, just a quick tidbit, how would I fix this here in case you guys were actually wondering um, if that's the case. So we have a high bounce rate. I would actually add a filter at the top of the flow, bounce email zero times in the last 30 days. That would help reduce the bounce rate. I'd pretty much put that, that filter in to every single flow um, because this, these bounce rates, if you take a look, we go to like Z to A, right? We go Z to A, there's actually quite high bounce rates, especially in the abandoned cart series. So we'd go ahead and add those filters. And then we would also go, uh, since we've got quite a high unsubscribe rate in the welcome series, I would adjust that by adding a preference center, building out a preference center to give people the option to re respond and see what types of emails that they want to get. And I'd also take a look at how the welcome series is set up, right? I'd see like, okay, have they actually been subscribed to email marketing? Is that how they're getting added to the list? Th these are things that you would not otherwise know unless you had a report like this that gave you an indication. Hope you guys found that useful. If you have any questions, let me know. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. Uh, you, you know the drill. Uh, I make a bunch of new videos all the time. Thanks guys, bye.